Hello, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Make Free Energy for you guys on YouTube. Today, yes, we are going to talk about another free energy generator, another free energy machine. Nowadays on YouTube, they're everywhere. Everyone has a free energy generator. But the question is, what is a free energy generator? What's such a machine? A free energy generator, to begin with, it's a perpetual motion machine. Yes, a machine that will run forever. No matter if the earth will stop spinning one day, no matter what the universe is going to do, your machine will spin forever. In order to achieve such a machine, you have to have this machine that the output is equal to the input, no matter what kind of work this machine is doing. It can rock back and forth, go up and down, keep spinning, some kind of kinetic energy. But in order to have really free energy, you have to take this perpetual motion machine and extract even more energy out of it. The spare energy is going to be your free spare energy or simply your free energy. So we need to find a source of perpetual motion machine. Someone has it, it doesn't want to tell us. You know what? I found a couple of machines online that they look like legit and they will spin forever. I mean, they will spin forever. No source of input. Everything is already in, built into the machine. Kind of a uh, little skeptical to think about it, but not skeptical. We're at rather open mind, guys. Be open mind all the time. Check out this machine. Tell me what you think. Let's start this video with a couple of questions. Question number one. What would you call a machine with an integrated power source of its own that runs continuously and doesn't require any electrical or fuel input? Unusual? That'd be a reasonable definition. Question number two. What would the COP of such a machine be? Ah, let's see, we've got rotary torque plus a little electrical output divided by hmm, zero input infinity. Now, how about, how about hmm, coulombs of energy accumulated over a 40 or 50 year period? Maybe, maybe that would be a good way to, oh no, that doesn't do it either. See my point? Okay, okay, I know some of you are going to say, but your power cells are your input. No, I said that they're an integral part of the machine. It's a fundamental piece of the machine itself. That's like saying, hey, I got a good idea. Let's take the coils out and see how fast it runs. Well, it's not going to run at all. All right, how about the magnets? Let's pull them and see what kind of power it can deliver. Well, it's not going to do anything. Okay, then let's take out the power cells and see what happens. Again, nothing. It's all essential parts of one machine. This requires zero input. It's an essential part of the machine. Okay, now a brief explanation. The power cells, you can see there's six. They're individual and there's, there's six of them and there's six ultra caps in this module. Each one of these power cells is assigned to one ultra cap, each individual cell to an individual ultra cap. And then the ultra caps are connected internally in series. How cool was that machine, wasn't it? Yeah. All you can see in this video is that this guy gives a little crank, a little spin to this machine and assembly everything together. That machine was supposed to spin forever? Really? I know most of you guys get tricked out with these videos. They think it's a real per per perpetual motion machine. A lot of people, they really can't see the catch in those machines. Well, the catch is actually very, 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 very easy. What is that machine about? Well, it's just a motor generator. This guy takes this machine and cranks it for a few seconds before starting it. 
the energy you just produced in few seconds, you will get stored into the capacitors. Those are called ultra capacitor. Ultra capacitors are capacitors with a lot of a lot of capacitance. The second video you see, the guy helps the capacitor with some extra batteries. Those batteries are the graphene batteries. They're just nowadays everywhere. They're not special batteries, graphene batteries. However, the machine works also without those batteries, just with a super capacitor. You don't need such a fancy machine with plexiglass and everything. That machine is just a motor generator. Simple as that. It will not spin forever. It will spin for a few hours, for a few days, but it's not a perpetual motion machine. There is no extra energy you can get out of those machines. Even though that motor, I'm pretty sure it's got quite a lot of torque. So, after I said this, I just made a simple machine for you. There we go. It is my motor that works as a generator. This is an ultra cap. Ultra capacitor with 500 farads of capacitance. That is a lot. Yes, it's a lot. These capacitors, it charges pretty quickly and it will last quite a while. So, this motor, as soon as I crank it up a little bit, it will produce about two to three volts, enough to charge this capacitor for a while. And then let's see how long it will take to discharge it. You wanna try? There we go, let's crank it up. One, two, three seconds, there we go. I just charged my capacitor. Not fully charged, I'm not even using 10% of what the real capacitance of this ultra cap is. I'm barely using 10%. This thing, it will spin for a while. I can tell you that. And it's got also quite a lot of torque. I can't really stop it with my hand. So that's pretty cool. So, okay. Are you convinced that, no, there are no batteries, no anything. It's just an ultra cap, yes. As I said before, this is a generator for a few seconds and it turns into a motor after you crank and you charge the capacitor, okay? Now, <laughs> how could that keep spinning forever? All it takes, it was just a few seconds of cranking the capacitor and charge it up a little bit. As I said, I'm not even using 10% or what this capacitor is really able to. So, keep in mind that these guys, they have a big machine with a lot of, a lot of capacitors. Check this out. So, what is the purpose of making such a fake video and making people believe we have a perpetual motion machine? Well, I can tell you what away, what is the catch of that video? Yes, it's another scam, 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 scam. Free energy generator so far, they've been proven to be just scam. Yes, brainwashing people by putting a lot of freaking uh, videos on free energy and blah, blah, blah. No one so far has proven to be a free energy generator. So you wonder what is the catch of making such a fake perpetual motion machine. This machine will not run forever. It will barely run for a few hours, probably a few days. Yeah, is that a perpetual motion machine? No, no guys, not even close. And you wonder, what is the catch? What is the purpose of making a fake free energy device like always? Well, the reason is marketing, selling, 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 marketing and selling. It's a business guys, it's a business. And you wonder, so what these guys are selling? You wonder what these guys are selling? Well, let's go ahead and click on the link of the official video presentation. It's called quantummagnetics.com. Let's go click on it and let's see what they're selling. There we go. Did you see that? This big perpetual motion machine, it was just a big bullshit for selling. That's all about. This guy is selling these graphene batteries that they've been around forever nowadays. They're even cheaper for what he's selling it for. People want to sell. Don't get tricked up with these perpetual motion machines and free energy because it's all about selling. It's marketing. They never get on the market, these machines. They never get on the market for a reason.
All right, selling, selling, selling. This is another graphene batteries you find everywhere nowadays in uh, RC controlled cars, airplanes, and a bunch of toys. Graphene batteries are everywhere. Check this link. Did you see that? That's a just common graphene batteries. We don't have to buy from this guy graphene batteries because we already have it. They are also cheaper. So that machine is not a perpetual motion machine. But I leave I leave my video with my machine and let's see for how long it will last. And I also will count the RPMs. You will see what such a proof. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy my video.